I've loaded a 3D module of the human heart to outline the functionality and capabilities of Cyber Science 3D. On the left side of the screen, you can see the tool palette. The green buttons represent navigation options, purple are dissection tools, and the label options are listed in blue. About the size of your fist, the human heart is the most important muscle in the body. It beats more than 100,000 times per day, pumping over 2,000 gallons of blood through 60,000 miles of vessels. The human heart is made up of four chambers, the right atrium, the left atrium, and the left and right ventricles. The basic tools that I have available for manipulating the models include orbit to rotate the model, pan to drag the model, and zoom to magnify the model, and I can always use home to reset the position of the model. For the dissection tools, peel can be used to remove an individual structure, stick can be used to replace a structure, and explode can be used to burst a group of structures, where implode can be used to replace the multiple structures. Following that, hide can be used to remove a structure from view, unhide, will bring that hidden structure back, and transparency makes an individual object see-through, where opaque can be used to make that object solid again. Labels can be used to scroll over an individual structure and identify it, as well as marks can be added to permanently label an individual structure. Lastly, annotations can be added to add text, images, or drawings without, throughout the model. And the final aspect that I want to cover is the pre presenter tool where screenshots can be added to create slideshows for teachers and or students, and then those can be saved. 